figure shows two rays of light EF and QR from a source of light inside glass. The critical angle for the glass of the prism is just over 42 degrees. On figure, draw in the refracted ray from R and label it C. A special case when light comes from denser medium to rare medium. Each medium has a specific angle. This angle is named the critical angle. When light in denser medium is falling with an angle which equals to the critical angle, this will cause the light ray to refract along the surface between the two mediums. The question says that the critical angle for glass is just over 42. We will consider it 42. This is accepted in this level. If the critical angle is 42, your light ray will refract along the surface. This is what will happen here, and we will label it C. Question D. The critical angle for the glass of the prism is just over 42. State the approximate angle of refraction for the ray striking XY at R. We just explained before what happened. QR is falling from denser medium with an angle that is about or nearly equal to the critical angle 42 of glass. So, this is the angle of incidence 42. Now it's clear that the angle of refraction, which is defined as the angle between the normal and the refracted ray, in this case it will be 90 degrees. So our answer is 90 degrees. E. Another light ray not shown in figure from the same source of light and hits XY at an angle of incidence of 55 degrees. State what happened to this ray at the point where it strikes XY. Now in the previous question, we said that when the light ray like QR is incident from the denser medium with an angle that equals to the critical angle, this will cause the ray to refract along the surface. But what if our angle becomes greater than the critical angle of glass? This will cause the ray to reflect totally back into glass again without any refraction or going into air, and this is named as total internal reflection.